Good morning guys, or afternoon, or can it be buonanotte? I got a car and a buongiorno. So how are you guys going, alright? I might go for another haircut, I don't know. That's how we go. But uh, yeah, no, I've done alright. Just uh, had a look at some of the comics that I got. and uh, A few people wanting to buy a few of the old ones. Uh, it goes back to the uh, golden golden age years yeah, because I got a lot of the ones that are worth like quite right the time were worth about 10 cents um, now they're worth they're worth thousands man Jeez. I want to keep a hold of those ones so I don't want to you know they go oh is it for sale but I never I don't want to I don't want to sell that man no way um, leaving it for the girls leaving it for a, a rainy day um, yeah though this year has been you know, hasn't you know? It's it's been a tough year for everybody, but you know the thing is, it's not majorly tough. You know, I think we were we we're doing pretty good here in Australia. So you know, no, I had I didn't have to sell off any comics or you know, uh, so you know for thousands of dollars, and and I probably wouldn't do it this year. Uh, it's not a not a very good year to sell stuff. Uh, probably a good year to buy stuff. But, uh, you, know, I'm, you know, I'm talking about, you know, I'm not talking about $1, $2 comics, you know, here. And I'm talking about, you know, thousands of dollars worth of comics. Uh, you know, uh, the pencilers are, you know, are Bob Kane, you know. You know, it goes back to 1941. So you're looking basically, you know, a lot of the comics that go back uh, pre-Second World War. So they're worth a lot, you know, and I got a couple, you know. I did have to sell a few of those. Um, wasn't very happy about that. Um, but uh, I know that these ones I'm going to keep. You know, I've got them in the vault. And uh, I'm very happy about that. Uh, apart from that, you know, just uh, living life and uh, off to the, you know, uh, get some bread. But... Uh, it's a lovely day today, I tell you. So we're set about uh, 11 days off Christmas. So I'm thinking maybe we'll get a haircut before I see the rest of the cousins. But it's amazing. I shampoo and condition my hair and stuff. And, but uh, apart from that, yeah, just uh, chilling out. A lot of people on the, on the road. People need to move out of the way. Excuse me. Unbelievable. I like to walk in your way. This is what we don't like here, so... No, apart from that, it's not a bad place to live in. I've been living here for you know, 20 years of my life, so... But, uh, there's some other places I've lived in that I do like. Sydney's not too bad. But, uh, they mind Melbourne, they mind Sydney, they mind Sicily too, so I do miss um, this understanding of the Gamastra and I miss uh, Randazzo and all the, all the little uh, places in between the park and stuff, so but eventually we'll, we'll like to go back and uh, see, uh, see what I can do, I guess. But uh, it's not, not just Sicily. I like, I did love uh, the Roman area and uh, Pisa area. Uh, I loved Monte Carlo and I loved, you know, Mentone and, and there's other spots uh, just on the Riviera there. It was awesome. Just beautiful, you know, where my uncle had his, uh, has, family has their property there. Um, off the beach there, it's bloody brilliant. But uh, yeah, I do miss miss France also. So eventually, one day I like to take the girls there and uh, see the Rollos. But uh, see how we go, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's the thing. So you know, I sell off all my comics. And the comics actually worth a lot more than the land that I got overseas. So. I can't bloody believe that, but can you believe that, yeah, these comics are worth 
and worth a fortune. But uh, the thing is, they're only books. Um, not, not the same as uh, land and cousins and everyone else in the middle. I've been in this area for a long time, guys. And this is mascot, guys. Let me have a look. We've got our park there. But hopefully, I'm hoping that uh, eventually I uh, might want to come down overseas. Go to Melbourne once that uh, we can travel. It'll be good. But uh, right now, I just sort of have to stay a bit low. Just chill out. Can't do too much, but eventually, I'd like to, I like to go back, back to Melbourne and see, see my fellows and stuff. So you know, we'll see how we go. But uh, at the moment, with this uh, Corona and stuff, I've had to got, I've had to get my, uh, you know, my mask in the, in my pocket. But uh, this is life here. So, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, no complaints. Bloody rates are going up. I want to put another 200 bucks on the rates. And what can you do, you know? You know, these people, you know, that's what they do. They just rates after rates. Anyway, it's a lovely area. Got a nice Christmas tree here. That's the Christmas tree behind me. Just one second, one second. You go in the Christmas tree there. That's the Christmas tree. It's a beautiful Christmas tree. And have a good, good park in the memorial area. That uh, gives you an idea of you know, a lot of green area and uh, the people on the area too. But uh, I must say. This year, even though we're close to the city, I haven't gone back to the city for a while. Um, I tried to stay low, even though I got an apart or I got a actually uh, office in the city, but um, but I, I haven't been able to. You know, not not that I unintentionally want to use it, but just going back in town, it's just this coronavirus. It's it's a very risky. You can get it from one person. You know, why would you want to go back you know, until there's a vaccine? Um, then I'd probably want to uh, go back in. But if there's no vaccine, I'm not going to bloody the city. That's for sure. So why would I want to? You know, it's a bloody suicide. But anyway, I know they're trying to encourage people to go back in town. But who, who would want to go back in town? It's actually a weird... Look at this, man. That's a... That's a well, I can't believe that. That's a... It's pretty good what you find here on this... On this uh, street. Or road. <laughs> Bloody hell. But, uh... Oh, so many roads, so many roads. But, uh... A lot of people thought, oh... Where did John go, man? John's left the area. Shit. <laughs> Haven't really left the area. We're still, still, uh, what do they call it? Uh, just, uh, you know, we really left the area. You know, still, still in Oz, man. But, uh, I just make sure that what it is that I do, I just do, do my best in my area, sort of graphics person, so, uh, and a lot of the stuff that I've come out with has been uh, stuff to do with the uh, military and all that stuff, and robotics, so I'm in enjoying it, yeah I am enjoying it, so I'll record again mate.